guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And Aang is canceled. That's right. Actually, Twitter, Twitter's canceling the, the Netflix's new show. Uh, Twitter is canceling the Netflix live action version of Avatar: The Last Airbender. Unfortunately, unfortunately, Netflix seems hell bent on moving forward with it, even though the creators quit because they said it was a train wreck. Finally, a cancellation. I actually agree with. We actually agree with this cancellation, but I think uh, Netflix is going to move forward with it. I think it's a very ill-conceived idea. Avatar does not need to be remade. No, no, it doesn't. So we're going to talk about that, reactions to that, and we're also going to talk about Geeky's Finger. Oh, yeah, it's broken. Um, if you don't know where, I smashed it with a hammer on Sunday, and I thought, oh, it's not broken. No, it's broken. But good news is it's only, I only have to wear a splint for a while, and in five weeks I have to go back and get it re-x-rayed. Apparently I, I broke the tip into pieces. She smashed the tip. And yeah, I smashed the tip, and apparently it's in more than one piece. So, but it's 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 all good. There's no screws involved or anything like that. That's it's, good. No screws involved in smashing the tip. That's good. Mm -hmm. uh, that's good. There are many jokes in there. So, bef before I, I was leaving it open for interpretation. Before we get into it any further, I just want to point out that clownfishtv.com is open for business. It's still in beta, but there is a new website. If you're worried about missing videos, go to clownfishtv.com. It's got all of our videos from all of our channels and you can subscribe to the notifications. Okay. So when a new video posts, it posts to the website and you'll get a notification because we know how reliable YouTube is. You know, so there's, it went live. It did go live, yes. Are you not gonna do your thing? Live. I hate that. <laughs> it's live. But yeah, you can sort by category. We have, you know, Clownfish TV Gaming here. If you guys aren't familiar, we do have a gaming channel. Yeah, we gotta do more Colonel Sanders. Yeah, we've well, got, we did. Uh, said we haven't edited it. Art videos. Again, these are things that you guys are probably missing, but they're all on clownfishtv.com. So right. there we go. And uh, thank you again for the support for the pins. We sold yeah. way more than we thought we were going to. Yes, thank you. Uh, so those should be coming to you in a few weeks. So here we go, comicbook.com. We'll talk about it first, and then we'll go out to Twitter and see what the hot takes, the hot takes are for this particular thing. Everything's a hot take over there. Avatar The Last Airbender cancels. Canceled Netflix live action series is trending on Twitter. So people are not happy because the showrunners left, the creators left. They didn't seem like they left on very good terms. Mm -hmm. They were like, Netflix wants to change everything. Yep. We're not real happy but about it. they weren't it. saying what at the time. No. So here we go. Check out how savage the comments get in the canceled Netflix Avatar The Last Airbender live action wave on social media. Um, so this is what I had heard too. I don't know, but it's, it's fake. The Netflix live action Atla News going around is fake. Dear Avatar Fandom, Fandom Wire is a longtime known clickbait site that makes stuff up for clicks. <laughs> some of the other ones reporting on this. Right, they have for years. Their story about Netflix live action, Avatar The Last Airbender, whitewashing, aging up, and sexualizing the characters is fake. They have no source. But what's their source for saying it's fake? I, I don't know. Um, so this is coming from what? Andy Signor, thanks for sharing my report. Yeah, we didn't even know what the reasons were. They just said that there was a there was creative differences. That's all we knew. Yeah, so there's there's a bunch of stuff going on here. Um, there were creative differences. I don't think anybody came out and said what was actually going on. I saw it last night that people were saying Netflix wanted to make all these changes, and I'm like, that doesn't sound like Netflix. I mean, they're talking about whitewashing the characters. Well, a couple things here. One, there was massive backlash to the original Avatar right. movie because of that. And two, current year, that's not a very good idea. No. Uh, I wouldn't think that was a good idea anyway. I mean, why No, that's not the characters. It? I didn't think it was right the first time they did it. I think I think with anything, like you stay as true to the characters as possible. Yep. The characters are not white, you don't make them white. And if the characters are anything you know, if the characters are white, you don't change into something else. Yeah, I think I think that's you know, I I, I just got the vibe that Netflix wanted to make a bunch of story arc changes and junk like that. <laughs> That's funny, actually. Look at the picture there. Oh, my God. What Netflix <laughs> wants. <laughs> That's funny. And what uh, the fandom wants. Well, that's the thing, too. People were talking about aging up, potentially aging up the characters so they could get away with more. That's called Korra. That's yeah, not, yeah. That's not no, no, Avatar. No. Uh, or is it a case of uh, they know the kids are going to age too quickly? Why were they going to do it more than one? I, I don't know. 
Uh, I mean, it's a, it's a huge story arc to cover. I mean, it was you know three seasons on on uh, Nickelodeon. So not surprisingly, the news of the showrunners dropping out has sparked all kinds of speculation and quote unquote inside sources claiming that one big reason could be Netflix refusing to honor the pledge to cast a diverse set of actors for the series. I don't see, especially current year, I don't see Netflix reneging on that. I don't either. And the thing is, some of their other shows they've done, they've made changes that didn't make sense. Or they, like, the Anne, the Anne with an E, they, they added stuff into the story about race and about sexual orientation and stuff that wasn't in, you know, the books, obviously. So they, I, I would I would think they would go the other way before they go that way. <laughs> Here you go. You start a rumor be like, oh, my God. Netflix decided that they were going to take all the white people out of Avatar. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you should that'd be funny oh my god and they left because they're like how could you do that make all of our white characters not white oh no they were gonna take the cabbage man and make it apples instead so people are mad oh. oh my apples this doesn't sound as much as good as oh my cabbages yeah so they're just going through a bunch of tweets nobody knows here's the thing nobody knows uh we Wait, do know it's bad enough they left yeah, because it wasn't even like, hey, let's let's have a little give and take. It was like, hell no, we're out of here. Yeah, and they said they, they were okay with making adaptations. It's just, I guess the demands were far more than just a few adaptations. Yeah, it sounds to me like they wanted to like rewrite the whole or, yeah, something, damn story something arc or something. weird going on here. Uh, after the anime series Avatar The Last Airbender continued its story with five comic series that are collected in graphic novels. Why don't they just animate those? Yeah, because they're actually really good. They're actually really good. Uh, I think it was uh, Gene Yang did those. Yeah, our kids love them. Why don't they just animate the Dark Horse comics? Uh, and just be like, it's it's Avatar season 3.5 or and something. Change the subject for just a second, but it's still related. Um, in truecomicbook.com form, uh, the other headline is, The Legend of Core fans are ecstatic about the series arrival on Netflix, not trying to ever sell it or anything right there. Yeah, Box is happy about it. All five it too. of them are thrilled. Everybody, everybody is talking about Core now because you can't talk about Aang without having the shoehorn core. And you know in what the whole too. thing is? I'm gonna say it because it's true. It's not because it was so great. It's because of the, the the shipping thing they did at the end. That's what the whole thing's about. At the when you you narrow it down, it's not because you know you cannot talk about Aang without talking about Core because they had the the shippers thing at the end. That is what it's all about. Oh, the, well, these these folks here on Twitter are like celebrate Cora and said, "Don't be no, mad about." No, I'm not celebrating Cora. It sucked. Cora was boring. I don't even have a problem with the shipping. I'm just like the show. No, I itself. didn't care about that. It was boring. We didn't even make it that far. We made it past the first season. That was it. It's like, oh my god, this is this is a boring ass show. It's pretty. It was pretty, but pretty boring also. It was pretty boring. It, it felt nothing like Avatar. Felt nothing like Avatar. And I just felt found Cora unlikable, and I want to slap a bitch. So they're just going through picking all the picking all the tweets. Let's go out to Twitter and see what's actually going on right now. Uh, Cause I saw it trending, cancel Netflix, ATLA live action. That is a huge hashtag. Mm -hmm. um, it's a mouthful. That is a, a mouthful. Uh, but yeah, so I, I don't understand. I mean, personally, I'm like, this was a bad idea to begin with. Um, I, a lot of people seem on board with, with animating the, the graphic novels. The graphic novels were good. They were very, very good. They got it. Um, Gene Yang actually got the characters. It felt like it could have been a continuation yeah, of the another series. another season or two, yeah. Yeah, and why they didn't just, you know, Avatar the, you know, they want to redo it. And but when you and, and as we've learned, you what I mean, making it just a straight up live action adaptation of anything is just dumb. And purpose there's no purpose to it because you already have the animated version. So what Disney and have been doing of late is they're trying to add some things to it or subtract some things or make some changes to it. So you knew it was going to be that but changed. So now people are calling the writer's cred into question because there's some drama around him too. Uh, there, there isn't anything that's confirmed. I mean, I do believe that you know YouTubers and and journalists do get inside scoops, but in this case, it just sounds to me like you know they, they were butting heads with Netflix. I don't see how hard it is. If you're gonna do it, just just follow the cartoon pretty much beat for beat. I mean, there's. I mean, if you're gonna make changes, let's make it another season, like they're saying from the books or something, yeah. or do like extended. You know, I, I don't know. It's <laughs> dumb anyway. How does animate more episodes? The, you know, this one. Well, I got a lot to say about this. What professional movie director looks at these characters and said, I want to see these guys fuck. Netflix can take the sorry excuse for reboot and shove it up their piss holes. Well, Tumblr, 
Yeah. <laughs> Tumblr would love to see those guys do stuff. And I'm sure that if you look hard enough, you're going to, well, you probably don't even have to look that hard. Well, they said yip yip, so. Uh, <laughs> yipping. <laughs> Avatar State, yif yif. Yeah, um, yeah, Appa. Yeah, Appa. Appa. Oh my God. Uh, so yeah, it's. I think it's just a bad idea. And they're they're talking about the. Uh, well, now they're now they're talking about the voice cast of the original. Okay. Uh, um, <laughs> it was it was a pretty pretty white cast originally. Yeah, because you know back in the day when you could be an actor and play characters that weren't like you, and the same went for other people of other races as well. They played white people all the time when they weren't white. Yeah, this. No one cared. This is not going to happen now. Uh, this is not going to happen now. But look, it's not enough for some people. There's a, peti a change.org petition out there where they have apparently a problem with the entire plot because it it doesn't delve into uh, uh, Tibetan history, Tibetan wait, culture wait, enough. Wait, 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 what? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. So they're they're concerned about things here. Um, the petition protests the subtle insensitivity towards certain subjects of, like the Tibetan genocide and the promotion of harmful stereotypes showing uh, Arabs slash Muslims as barbarians. I don't I don't really think... Are they talking about the Fire Nation? Is that what they're talking about? I thought they were more like, like supposed to be like the Mongols or something. I, I think, don't know. I, don't I thought know. they were just mean because they, they work with fire. The second, a, I myself am a fire sign, so take it as you will. The second major concern is that of age appropriation. The petition demands that the characters be age appropriate. I would agree with that. As seen, as seen in the animated series and shouldn't be aged up to sexual... I would agree with that. That is a rumor. We don't know what's going on. The last major concern for petitioners is that the live action remake should not depict a colonizer colonized ro colonized romance. If this happens, it might be offensive to the natives. Such a portrayal will not be a pro. Oh, Wait, because they, they're going to watch it? Uh, okay, so they do understand that even though there is inspiration from it's the, not actually... the world, it's not actually Tibet. It's not actually any particular nation the characters are just influenced by earth right they don't to get the yeah i get, get that. that it's just like you know like in star wars they're all aliens so God. you know it even made forbes uh it made why, forbes. why oh, why are they that's why yeah paul tassie actually i don't mind paul tassie that much i think he's all right he's wrong about the last of us too though a lot of people were wrong about the last of us too this should be the last airbender of us there you go. The last airbender was too. Uh, so yeah, they're even talking about on Forbes that this is a bad idea. I don't know why they're going to move forward with this. Uh, nobody seems to want it. I think this is one of those few instances where pretty much an entire fandom across the spectrum can can come together and agree that this is a bad idea. Yeah, that that is true. They they are united in the desire to not see this come to to fruition. We're united by hate. <laughs> yeah. Hate will bring us all together. That's right. Hate and Well, you can argue where you're united by love for the original. That is true. So we could, I could argue that. Literally nobody wants this Netflix. Why you're even moving forward with it when the, the core fandom is telling you they don't want it. But beyond that, it, even when you were like pushing it and people were like, okay, I'll give it a chance. Now, like the creators aren't involved and there's rumors going around. I think clarification needs to be done or you need to just not do it. So, but they're going to anyway. You know they are. Yeah, oh, yeah, they are. They probably got money invested in it. They probably have a bunch of stuff in it already. So it's not too late to turn back. Turn back, Netflix. That's turn right. back. All right, we're gonna wrap this one up. Yeah, please do. Okay, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.